What's up guys, this is Su47, uh, welcome to my channel. Uh, I'm going to be doing a little uh, a little uh, look into uh, what's called Cub Linux. Uh, this is a Linux based operating system. Um, it's derived from Ubuntu and uh, Debian. And if you guys don't know what Linux is, I'll leave a couple of links in the description of uh, you know what it is pretty much. It's a free operating system that you can throw on old hardware and they'll run pretty fast uh some of them you can put them on systems that have 512 megabytes of ram and they're pretty speedy so uh a lot of the linux operating systems run on uh, ra uh, raspberry pi if you guys know what that is um uh, it's run by that uh, ras i believe it's uh, raspian and then also ubuntu mate also runs in there uh, I haven't tried that, but I'm very curious. I hear it runs pretty smooth. Um, Cub Linux used to be Chromixium Linux. Uh, it's pretty much it's trying to mimic Chrome OS, um, and uh, they had some legal issues, I believe. I didn't look too much into it, but I will take a look at the site and let's power it up real quick, and I'll talk some more about it. But uh, they changed it to Cub Linux and Cub. Uh, you know the C is um, Chromium, the UB Ubuntu, uh, and then Linux, because of course it doesn't have Linux in it. You just put Cub. Nobody knows what it's going to be, or they could have said Cub OS. Uh, so we're going to go into the virtual machine screen, and then exclusive mode. So we are in there now, and uh, first thing, uh, we'll start off bottom left with the dock at the bottom, the panel. And it's clear, I mean, there's nothing, you know. It's using, as of the environment, it's using OpenBox. So I have never used OpenBox before. This is actually the first time. Uh, recently, I've been using Budgie. Uh, Budgie, I really love. So I'm putting that almost on everything. But actually, on one of my other laptops that I have, I have installed Ubuntu 16.04, and I added the Budgie desktop. I did not do the Budgie remix. Uh, so we'll start off with Chromium App Launcher. And this system that I made, it's 2 gigabytes of RAM. Uh, I'm pretty sure, you know, you can put this on a, uh, you know, a netbook. Or a Chrome, Chromebook. I don't know what you want to do a Chromebook because it's pretty much mimicking Chrome OS. But uh, here we see we have Chromium, which is what Google Chrome is based off. And it's, uh, it's here. We'll go in there. We'll go to the Cub Linux uh, website. So it's here. It is available in 32-bit and 64-bit if you guys want to download it. Uh, so as you can see at the top, Chromium plus Ubuntu equals Cub. And it's actually registered it already. Uh, unique, powerful, and familiar. The best of Chromium with the power of Ubuntu. That is their uh, tagline that they're using. Then here, download Cub for 32-64-bit. Uh, this will probably most likely take me to the down, yeah. Uh, 32 bit is 846 megabytes. The 64 bit is 886. Slight difference there. But yeah, 64 bit computers, uh, you'll want to have uh, a gig and a half of RAM. 32 bit, gig or less. And the way I, you know, I just put it on here, but uh, I'll tell you how to create it the USB. I'll take you to the Wikipedia. So you can use Rufus and Windows to create your boot CD, uh, boot uh, USB. I was gonna say boot CD. Uh, you can still create it. You can create a DVD, which is what I used to do. But uh, recently, you know, I started not using a lot of uh, optical media, so USBs are the way to go. Uh, so at the bottom, Chromixium OS. 
you know, so it tells you a little bit of the story. They had to comply with an agreement with Google and uh, use Kub Linux, pretty much. Uh, you got support. You got frequently asked questions, news. You can donate to the project. I believe this is version 1.0 of Kub Linux. Uh, and you can answer some questions you might have in here. What is Ubuntu? This actually is a pretty good uh, little FAQ. And kind of school you a little bit if you don't know what Linux is. So you guys are free to go check out that link. And yeah. Um, so. This application's menu here. It wasn't there originally. The way to get it if you do want to try it out. You can also uh, right click here, you know, anywhere here on the desktop. Uh, you, know, you can change your app wallpaper or control panel, things like that. Uh, but if you want to get that, you just go to accessories. You go to applications, accessories, applications menu. You'll see drag icon to the dock. So you'll, this is what they mean by this. You drag it down here like that and you drop it there. I already did it. I don't want to do it again. Um, and that's how you get the little menu here. Very reminiscent of uh, Windows 7. Uh, but yeah. Here's where you used to. You can launch um, your Office Suite, your Google, you know, because it is trying to mimic uh, Chrome, so you'll get all the Google Docs. Uh, sheets slides but you can also download of course uh, ubuntu uh, packages uh open office libre office you know uh, i believe i did i think i downloaded dark table and simple screen recorder and vlc media player the three that i downloaded there are there as well as banshee uh and upgrade of course if it's uh, the software center the one that it comes with it, it's actually, let's see, let's see if I can find, I'll show you guys. Usually, the, all the usual suspects and settings. It's using Lubuntu's, right here, Lubuntu team. It was ported over, and you can use it on here. It's not my favorite, it's not very too, not visually pleasing to me. That's why I downloaded AppGrid, but AppGrid closes on me a lot, so I don't like to use it that often. Uh, change the wallpaper, control panel, you want a command in here, turn off app, app grid. And I believe the bottom is probably blank, because I saw the blank is in there, but that was pretty interesting. Uh, so in here, pretty much networking, printers, things like that. Firewall. If you want to activate the firewall, it's in there. Software and sources. So if you know what Ubuntu is, pretty much have the basis on how to use this. Apply, apply the... Change the wallpapers. Those were some decent ones, not too bad. Send into Chromium in here. That's where you uh, type on your Google credentials. I'm already signed in uh, in here. So when I ever click on, I'm going to click on there because I have some information in there. Gmail will come up with my Gmail. Google Drive will go to my Google Drive. YouTube. Uh, yeah. There's YouTube. So it treats it as an app, so I thought it was pretty cool. Down here at the bottom, um, calendar, sound, networking, uh, power. Uses XFC Power Manager. Uh, we've got Bluetooth and your power on and off, you know, log out stuff. But overall, it's a pretty decent experience. Not too bad, pretty minimal. Uh, you get root terminal, you get regular terminal. You get everything, you get it's like a mix of 
Ubuntu and Chrome, Chrome software. So, um, I can find some more information on the version, but I'm pretty sure the version was 1.0. Kind of hard. There's usually like an about section in here, but I can't. I yeah, got BitTorrent client that was in there. Um, once you install it, it's in there. Google browser choice. I never saw this. This is new. Okay. No idea what this is. <laughs> uh, system. GDebi package installer. Like I said, you can download the dev, uh, dev packages. You got Synaptic Package Manager, though, which is slightly better than. Uh, I don't even know what it's installing. But in settings, you can actually, instead of that screen, you can do it in here, Flash Player. Okay, well, it looks like it's removing. Huh. What the hell? No clue what's going on. Is it? I think it's replacing it with Chrome, Google Chrome. Oh yeah, that's what it is. Oh, weird. Huh? So it's like a workaround. Interesting. Yeah, there it is. Oops. Gmail. Uh, and it says you can just open it up. Keep in dock. It was still hanging around in there. It's weird. So the workaround is, I guess you can download Chrome automatically? Yeah. So if you guys saw that, that's the way you do it, I guess. So that was pretty simple, actually. And also removed Pepper Flash thing. Yeah. I had no need for it. Again, it's using open open box. You can also customize it. You just change the theme or go to the open box configuration. Uh, let me see. Settings again. Go to change theme. Change the uh, icons. See some of the processes in here. You got that plank in there. Open box. Um, system monitor test manager. So. Wow. This is on the pro from uh some of the commands in here. There's open box right there. These are the ones that you know I'm not sure. I'm pretty new to Linux as well. So GNOME terminal. But yeah, guys, if you guys want to check it out, I'll leave links in there in the description. You guys can uh, go mess around with it, 
donate if you like something you're interested in uh pretty simple i don't I'd spend too much time in it i'm not really sure how updating works i haven't really have given me anything to update so but yeah he has a catch you guys on the next video and uh we'll see what that brings us